up beautiful people it's your boy Ricky Jones here and in this video I will be planting pineapple cherry tomatoes and pineapple sage let's get to it what's up beautiful people and welcome to another episode of don't keep up with don't keep don't keep up with us so excited about this video largely because it spins off of the Home Depot shopping video which I saw these pineapple things be it the pineapple cherry tomato as well as the pineapple sage and I was like oh my gosh I've never had either and I want to give them a try and like I was called out by saying on that video that I'm really not a tomato person I honestly am not though I do like salsa so I said to myself one I am very curious about how these pineapple cherry tomatoes taste and two I was curious curious because I looked up how they grow and I said to myself oh my goodness I have to bring them to this channel so that is what we will be doing and if you are new to this channel my name is Ricky Jones Jr. and I love doing gardening videos as well as bills but more than anything I am more than anything passionate about gardening as you can see I have a whole merch store titled garden with me in which the whole idea through this channel will be able to garden with people all around this world as represented by the flags but you can join the garden community by clicking that join button after you click that subscribe button and we can all collectively communicate talk encourage and invigorate one another in our gardening endeavors and so with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and garden and plant these and I'm gonna tell you why I'm doing them show you how to do them and let you know that you can do them too so let's do it y'all all right so the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and plant is my ha 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 my pineapple cherry tomato plant. Now this plant looks fab fabulous. As you can see at the bottom, there are some roots that are coming from it, but it's not many, which is what I want. Um, I didn't want to disturb too much of a root system. So when I do pick seedlings from the Home Depot, I try not to pick one that has a vast root system growing from the bottom. The least, the better in my opinion. So take that as you may. What I do have here is a seven gallon grow bag, which I had on over there by my sweet potatoes. I had an extra one. And so in this one, I will plant this here plant. Now I'm doing it largely because of the way the plant grows. And I do encourage you all to make sure that you know how your plants grow before you plant them in the area that they're gonna go. And so you do that largely because you want to make sure that whatever apparatus you are using to grow your plants in, your vegetables in, your flowers in, it is grown in an environment that is conducive for the way that it grows. And so just showing you all a picture of how this plant grows gives you a large and great idea on why I'm going with this method. So of course I encourage you to garden with me and learn from me. And as we continue to grow our garden community, our online garden community, we'll be able to grow and learn from each other because I'm sure you all who are watching this video probably have some experiences in growing various things in various ways and have learned from your various experiences. So what I'm going to do is just carve out a nice center pocket uh, here in the garden bag, or excuse me, in the grow bag. I'm gonna take my seedling out and so, you know, being ever so gentle with it. And as you can see, the roots are root bound, which I mean, the roots are a nice color. They're a nice white-ish type color. And so, which is a perfect color, uh, a color in which you do want your roots to be. And it shows a good sign of healthy roots. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and support the root system with the soil. And I'm also gonna peel off the bottom leaves of the plant itself so that there isn't any disease or anything growing or happening from the bottom. And so again, I do recommend you doing that as well. When you plant your seedlings, take off those bottom roots and even as the plant grows, take off the bottom roots there, or excuse me, the bottom leaves. They're really unnecessary overall. Um, and more than anything, they'll cause more damage than growth or health to your plants. And so I'm actually gonna add some more soil because I do have space for soil to be in this grow bag. And so let me go ahead and do that before we finish with this. You want it to be nice and supported by the soil itself. 
but you don't want it to be like packed down packed where it's too tight or restricting the roots to grow but also too you do want to have a nice lip here as you see uh, that gives the plant some available space to be watered by the rain by the drip irrigation system and be able to retain water as it goes through the uh, grow bag itself all right so now i'm about to plant the uh, pi pineapple sage and as you can recall as you can remember what i've been doing here lately is growing my herbs in five gallon buckets with the idea of keeping them and having them to be able to be nice and flexible and be able to move them around as i desire and so what i have put in here is some cocoa core at the bottom and also some perlite uh, however i didn't think the part through where i have to like mix it so i probably should have put less soil in the whole mixture itself and now having a hard time getting to the bottom where the cocoa core is and the perlite is so that i can rotate it there we go i want to get a nice mix a nice rotation so that the soil is nice and loose it's nice and fluffy uh there's aeration thanks to the perlite and there's also the cocoa core in there that will help to retain the moisture which are all necessary components to healthy container gardening you do want to make sure that it's porous and you want to make sure that the soil itself is able to retain moisture so that the roots can get what they need as they push down and grow um you know as roots grow from the bottom up okay what we see on the top is a small representation of what actually is taking place up under the ground and you all know the type of soil that i like as i pointed out to you in the uh home depot garden shopping video if you didn't see that make sure you go check that out i'll put a link for it in the description below and now we have our pineapple sage um here <laughs> i was about to say more but the beautiful thing about this plant that i'm excited about not only is the name <laughs> but as it showed at home depot and as it represented on the cart this plant itself is one that attracts hummingbirds and so i don't really have a plant that specifically attracts hummingbirds and so i'm excited about that aspect of this plant and also it said it's good in your drinks and your teas um, I already know that it's going to be very fragrant because sage is and also pineapples are so it's like it's the perfect mix it's the perfect marriage it's the perfect plant like it's the perfect herb and again all thinking about herbs that are aromatic they have a good smell <laughs> so that as I plant them around my greens for the winter time for the fall that it can deter the pests from smelling the kale and the collards and you know go its merry way and not bother me and so what is happening is it is going to the bottom or excuse me touching the soil which really you don't want your herbs to do so i'm just go ahead and put that in there like that so to help keep the um the sage off the dirt don't want that that's how you can have diseases and things grow on your leaves so i'm gonna just leave it like that and i feel like it'd be good to go where i put it and where i place it All right, so I'm excited about putting the plants where I wanted them to be, largely because it's about to rain. So this is the perfect day to put your plants out, to put your seedlings out, to put your new crops down, because when it rains, look at the clouds, like they are so brown and gray, but at the end of the day, it is perfectly where I want it to be. This tomato plant is amongst the sweet potatoes, and then what I have, where I have my pineapple sage is along the herb row, okay? So we have marigolds, we have mints, and then we have our pineapple sage so it's divinely put where I want it to be all right great people so I gave it a nice light little watering more than anything just to get everything acclimated to each other everything being the new seedling as well as the soil itself and then what I will do is probably in about four to five days I'll come out and fertilize it with the sustain so it can get further acclimated adjusted as well as you know give it some plant food so they can grow in this new environment nice excitedly happily and uh quickly okay but don't rush the process i'm more than anything excited about how it's gonna turn out hey 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 how yes sir wonderful 
how the plants themselves will turn out and more anything intrigued as well about how the pineapple cherry tomatoes look as they grow and then the way in the process in which you harvest them so with that being said be sure to subscribe click the bell notification so that you are aware when those harvesting videos come about so you can see the growth of these plants and you know maybe i'll get somebody alongside of me to give a smell to give a scent give an idea of what it smells like and the process so you aren't just hearing it from me but you're able to you know see somebody else's opinion probably rain rain is probably great to do that but at the end of the day i love you all be sure to check out the merch store where you can get your garden with me shirts both in long sleeves and short sleeves click that join button after clicking that subscribe button so you can join the family subscribe to the channel and we can learn and grow together okay more intimately okay because it's a family that we're growing on here you're not really able to talk to everybody but on the online family that is what we do so don't grow along grow and garden with me and me being each and every person that assembles together in the garden family so with that being said love you all i appreciate you all see you on the next video uh -huh.